Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Ken back again with another banger video today. It's not really a banger, but you know what I'm saying? Everything I put out cool type shit, you know? But today, uh, I'm going to be just telling y'all like how my car got stolen, broken into, all that stuff, and what you can do to like prevent it, you know what I'm saying? So let's just get right into it, you know? So this is a 2019 wide body scat pack. I think I got like 60 something thousand miles on it. Um, and then about like four months ago, it got, not probably not four months ago, like three months ago, something like that, it got stolen, they got broken into. So let me show y'all what they did and how they did it. First, I'm gonna show y'all, um, like obviously they broke in, they had to break in some way. So they broke in the door here, they popped the glass out, took all that out and I cleaned most of it up, but I haven't been dropping it. So some of it just sitting there still. Um, basically they hit the window, but so they obviously they gotta have a way to get in. And then they came over here, basically just pop this little thing out right here, pull that lever up and they took off with it. Um, at some point they took that out right there. I don't know, uh, I think it got something to do with like security, but they took the whole rear view mirror out, but I put it back. So that's why it looks fixed. And then back there, if you see a little core hanging, all that was like ripped down. So I'm guessing there's some more security stuff back there that they uh, knew about and they took out. So I, at one point, either before they took it or after they took it, they took all that out. And then I guess that helps them like get away with it or whatever, or not get caught with it. Um, so then I noticed like probably like a, a couple weeks later, uh, I was driving it back to like the garage to like store it, keep it put up. And I noticed I was trying to get around the car and I hit my horn, right? The horn wasn't working. I'm like, hmm, they must have like went in here in the computer and turned off the little horn so uh, you couldn't hear it or nothing like that. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they did, but that's what I was thinking. And then come to find out, I looked up a video while my, while my horn, horn wasn't working. I come here, pop that bad boy up. I walk around here, pull the little lever up. Come here. Excuse my engine, bro. That is disgusting. If y'all know anybody that clean these, any tips to clean these, let me know. Send them my way. But well, anyway, I come here and I look and I see something's missing right there. It's either supposed to be something right there or right there. One of these two on the side of this tin. It's supposed to be something there, but it's gone. I, I believe it's this one though, right before the tin. I believe it's that one, but. That's the uh, horn for your horn to work. I guess you gotta have a chip. It's like a computer thing. You gotta have a chip for it to work. And uh, apparently they took mine out. So <sighs> mine wasn't working. So um, I found that out through like YouTube. I looked it up to see how um, how the horn works and why mine wasn't working. That is nasty, yo. Help me out for real. Mind you, I haven't been driving this car for like, it's been, months since i've been driving this car from from when it got wrecked and i ain't even dropped the video when i got it back but from when it got wrecked from when i got it back i haven't been driving it but i'm about to start driving it again so uh if y'all if y'all know anybody or know anything let me know but now i'm gonna tell y'all basically how i got my car back so they stole it overnight it was like 12 at night they stole it and then around like around like eight in the morning like we got it back. Me and my boys, our Texas boys, I told them it was gone. They pulled up, we got it back. So I'm gonna show y'all how I got it back and like what y'all can do to like, you know what I'm saying? Keep y'all from getting stolen or finding it from whenever it, or whenever it gets stolen. So basically you come over here and most of y'all probably already know what this is or a lot of y'all probably gonna know this. Come down here, boom. See that right there? Car lock. I'll take it out for y'all. This is the car lock uh, tracker. Basically, just plug it in your OBD port, and then you got like security, I guess. Um, it tells you when somebody like vibrating your car, start your car, moving your car, speeding in your car, braking in your car. Braking is like hit the brakes real hard. It tells you all that, but it it, it got my car back, so I highly suggest this, y'all. Go check it out. I think it costs like it's you pay monthly for it. 
Um, I think the actual piece right here is like forty dollars or something like that. But Black Friday coming up, so they might be having sales. So go get this, y'all. Go get this. It got my car back. You can get yours back too. Go get car lock. Go get it. It saved me this whole car. This fifty thousand dollar car got saved by this one piece right here. This one piece. $50,000 car. I'll take my thumbnail right there. Got saved by this. When I got my car back, they didn't do nothing major. I'll show you what they did back here. They kind of like fucked all this up. So they moved it with another car. I don't know how they got it 30 minutes away from where it was parked at, but they, they did. They basically just fucked all, all that up right there. My license plate print still in there, but I took my license plate off because it was all bent up. I didn't want the cops to think it's stolen, but you know, they might think that anyway because there ain't no license plate on it, but they did all this right here, pretty much. They busted the glass out, like I said. They That little cord that's dangling right there, if y'all can see it, it's, they ripped all that out. I uh, kind of tucked it back up in there. Um, but yeah car lock that's where it's at bro i'm telling you my car got saved from this just from this but it's crazy though because i didn't pay the uh you got to pay monthly like i said and i didn't pay my monthly thing so it got like cut off and then uh i seen my car was my car got stolen or my car wasn't out there when i got it uh, when i woke up in the morning so then that's when i went to go pay for this real fast and then it, it told me exactly where the car was. As soon as I paid for it, it told me exactly where the car was. Now, if I would have had that on, if the loud alarm would have went off, it would have woke me up, would have told me someone's out there messing with my car, and then there you go. So, when you get this, make sure you keep paying for it. Put in all the pay, whatever you got to do. Keep paying for it. You'll be good. But, I'm telling y'all, bro, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. Now, it's other security system out there that's good it'll add more value to this but this right here start off with it start off with it and then when you when you get more money or whatever you got to do get the alarm the ghost alarm thing with the loud alarm that one of them old school alarms get that you know what i'm saying but that's pretty much it bro like I'm telling you this is where it's at They stole that mug, and I woke up, and I was like, whoa. You would never think what happened to you, but when you got a car like this, Hemi, a Scat, Hellcat, shit, even V6s sometimes. If they really know what they want or know the difference between the cars, it's still a V6, too. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what videos y'all want to see, bro. I'll put them videos out for y'all. Is it blurry? Oh, there you go. Let me know what videos y'all want to see, and I'll put them videos out for y'all, and show y'all more videos i guess i'm about to start driving the next month like i said i gotta get the tires changed get the window back fixed uh what else oh i need brakes oil change bro when i tell you i've been letting this car sit here i mean that bro. i've not been driving it i've been driving it to like driving around the block to make it you know what i'm saying like not die or nothing like that or go put air in the tires but that's it like this car ain't been to no stores nobody's house nothing it ain't been nowhere but in the garage and quick trip garage quick trip garage quick trip i'm telling y'all i've not been driving it oh i just seen this is it supposed to be like that y'all is that supposed to be like that yeah let me know if it's if that's supposed to be like that because i don't know i've just seen that oh um, I don't usually look down there, you know what I'm saying? But it might supposed to be like that. I don't know. Let me know if that's supposed to be like that, too. Um, but, yeah, yeah, that's the end of the video, though. Lock in with car lock. If you got a scat, I think they do other cars, too, like other brands. But if you got a Hellcat, Dodge, anything, anything Dodge for sure, get y'all one of these. Get locked in and be safe. But that's the end of the video, y'all. Please like, comment, all that stuff. Let me know what the next video should be about. We out.